AES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services, new customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. Todd Cochran of Geek News Central, part of Tech Podcast Network coverage here at CES 2011. I'm with Jonathan from Action Tech. I tell you, we, we hear about wireless stuff all the time, but how about wireless HDMI HD TV in your home? Jonathan, tell me about this. That's right, it's pretty cool. It's, we take a look over here. Uh, I'll stay on this side and he'll, he'll swing the camera around. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've got are uh, two adapters. One's, an, one's, a, a pro, one's a receiver, the other one's a transmitter. We can attach the transmitter to essentially any device that outputs HDMI because uh, it's enabled by YView technology by Cavium, which essentially lets us link the two wirelessly over a over a standard Wi-Fi signal. So it works throughout, a, throughout your entire house, through walls, up to about 150 feet in our tests. So you could feasibly have this television somewhere on the opposite side of your house, this source somewhere on the other side of your house, and you could send the signal wirelessly to the display, and the, the lag times just under 20 milliseconds, it's pretty fast. So that makes for some interesting developments when it comes to like Xbox 360 and being able to do, uh, you know, you know, head-to-head -head type playing. You're like, you could almost be back-to-back -back looking at opposite screens. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, and not only does it work from one source to one display the way we have here, it can go from one source to multiple displays. So if you have your Xbox connected to uh, a number of different uh, receivers, you can project those onto different screens throughout the entire house and everyone can be playing on their own screen. I could be sitting in the office playing the kids head to head in my nice comfortable chair while they're fighting for room on the couch. This is this is the, the device for me. So availability, price point, where can I find it? It's going to be available in Q2 throughout the nation around April or, or even May for under $200 for a transmitter and a receiver. So an additional receiver probably be around $100 then. Something like that. Very cool stuff. ActionTech.com? That's right. So that's T-E-C, action, T-E-C dot com. Great stuff here at, at uh, Digital Experience, part of CS 2011. My name is Todd Cochran with Geek News Central, part of Tech Podcast Network coverage.